για έκδοση διατάγματος με την λήψη των ακολούθων μέτρων. Απαγόρευση αχρίαστων μετακινήσεων. So, what do you do when you have to stay home for days? You play video games. A lot of video games. After a while though, I felt that I was just wasting my time and I wasn't being productive and I felt the need to be creative again. I wanted to make something. And since I was playing a lot of video games, I thought, why don't I make a video game? The last time I had coded something was about 10 years ago when I was still in school and it was very basic stuff, like this. But I, I, I missed it, I wanted to do it again. I went online, I did a bit of research, I downloaded Game Maker Studio and I just started coding very simple stuff. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and tutorials and I found a ton of people who were willing to help me online. My brother has studied game development and a very good friend of mine uh, knows how to code in Game Maker Studio. So it was quite easy to get started. I had a lot of resources, but no ideas. So I just started coding random stuff. Very simple stuff in the beginning. I just wanted to make blocks randomly spawn and just move around the screen. And then I added a character and I would click the blocks and it would disappear, but it was nowhere close again. I spent a lot of days and a lot of nights learning Game Maker Studio. It was quite fun. I was enjoying myself. It felt nice to be making something again. And after about two weeks, it started to look like a game. It was still pretty rough, but it was, you know, it was all right. It was something I could work on. And then I tried to make it a bit more interesting. I spent a lot of hours in VR drawing the character and all the blocks and the assets. I eventually reached the point where I felt, okay, I've got the basics here, but this is still not a game. So I started thinking about how do I turn this into a game? What should the character do? What's the point of this game? And I thought, okay, well, as, as these blocks keep spawning, maybe the goal could be to always be at the bottom of the frame, to always be touching the, the floor. So you would have to click the blocks and clear the, the area, clear the space so the character could fall down and like, be on the floor. I sent it to a couple of my friends, they gave me a bit of feedback. I tried to make it a bit more interesting. I added power-ups and obstacles. I made the, the difficulty increase as you progress through the levels. So after about a month of working on this non-stop, it began to look a lot better than I ever thought it would look. That gave me a bit of confidence and I thought, okay, why don't we just polish this and see where that goes, see if, it can, if I can make it look like a, like a proper game and not something that I just made because I was in lockdown. So I worked on it for about another two weeks and then I decided to give it a shot and submit it to, to Steam and after a very long process it got approved. So yeah, now I have a game on Steam. <laughs> I mean, okay, granted, it's a very small and simple game, which I made in two months. But, you know, I guess it is what it is. It was pretty fun making this, and I'm glad I did it. And even when things go back to normal, I'm gonna try and find the time to come back to this, to coding, and I don't know, maybe I will definitely keep working on, on this game and I will update it soon. But yeah, maybe in the future I'll find the time to make another game. I don't know, it was cool. I'm just glad that I learned a new thing. So yeah, that's what I did uh, during lockdown. Uh, you can find the game on Steam if you want to. It's only two bucks. You can try it, tell me what you think. Yeah. I hope this wasn't too awkward. This is the first time I'm filming myself. <laughs>